in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to build up this dope glass transition effect made from scratch. This is another effect which is done in the Fusion page. I know that many of you hate nodes, but no worries, as I'm gonna be with you the whole time. And I will explain everything to you, step by step. But first, let's see today's intro. Welcome back to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you how to build up from scratch this amazing glass effect. So currently we are in edit page and let's jump into media pool, grab a video clip and put it onto your timeline. Let's close media pool and highlight the video clip and jump into the fusion page. In Fusion page you will see that we have already here media in and media out. So let's drag it to right hand side and left hand side. So first thing that we need is we need copy of this video clip. So highlight media in and just press Ctrl C. Just clip with your cursor here and press Ctrl V. So now we have copy of this uh, video clip. So let's connect both together and now we have the, this video clip above the video clip that we imported before to timeline. So this is important because the cutout from this video clip will be basically the glass uh, that it will perform as an effect. So let's just use this uh, rectangle tools and uh, now you can see that we can change the size of it so we're gonna basically uh, put just cut out here you can, I can show you this so there is just a cutout uh, that you can see here and uh, what we're gonna do now we're gonna uh, put the into dimension so let's go with, with this one 0.08 and uh, with this one we're gonna go with four so it will be really long or high so you can see here but it's still usually happened that it's too short so next thing is we need to uh, do some changes as well so let's import some uh, transform node so with this transform node we're gonna basically change the size and let's change it here so approximately one three three eight will be okay so and now you can already see this cutout here so next thing that we need to do is let's highlight this transform node uh, press shift and spacebar and go to shadow Arrow, just go with SH so import this in and let's increase the softness so now you can see already some changes so we, we will go with also uh, with offset and because offset is too hard or too strong let's decrease alpha a little bit so between 0.7 0.8 somewhere so now we need commands because we can't do anything here in this transform so we just uh, make make basically movement but you can see that the effect is not uh, usable here so what we can do now uh, is basically let's import another node so we will grab this transform node but don't put it like directly in just disconnect this blue arrow use this white uh, square and connect it to yellow triangle and grab this one and connect it to blue triangle so this 
is how you can basically do the effect visible so you can see that the church tower is bigger and everything is as should be so next thing that we need to do we're gonna change the pivot uh, let's change the pivot and put it on the left hand side of the screen and let's go to frame 30 and decrease the size so we saw that the, this rectangle is too small so let's move everything to the left so let's go back you can see here so we can move pivot back so still a little bit yeah we can go a little bit more No, it's okay. So let's keyframe it here and move playhead to 90 and move this cutout from left to right until it, it's out from the screen. So let's play it through. We're gonna see what we have done. Yeah, looks nice, really nice. So if you want to see, let's go back to edit page. We can play it through here with the full screen. Yeah, not too bad. So one thing is that we need to do, still not too smooth. So let's go back to uh, Fusion page and click to transfer a node, hit this one. So, and go to Spline. Uh, while, once you're in spline, just take transfer on two, go to zoom, and you you see here those two uh, nodes. So and press S. Just increase, just grab this node here, just increase the softness, and let's close this one. Go back to 30 and play it through. Yeah, it's smooth as it should be. And one more thing that we can do also is let's highlight this shadow and import this color corrector. So color corrector will change the color of this effect. So you can basically change it in whatever color you want. So let's leave it somewhere here and we can play it through it looks really amazing so that's basically finished the uh, this effect so let's highlight all the nodes here press ctrl c move your cursor on the right hand side and press ctrl v so now we have another node tree and we are gonna connect this one with merge one so we get our own merge and we're gonna do another one, but first we have to highlight color corrector, go to shift and spacebar, and type time. So we need time speed, just add this note here, and go to delay. So we're gonna basically change, or uh, let's say, uh, make a delay with 20, 25 frames. Let's go with 25 frames. So. We don't need to build another tree now, we just copy and go with that. So we can go back here and let's play it through. So you can see that another uh, cutout is here. So one thing that we need to change, you can change it here as well. So we can go with another color. If you reckon that this uh, too, uh, it's not close enough, so let's change it. So approximately 18 frames and gonna be closer definitely yeah looks better so let's play it again yeah it is so one thing that we can still do is let's highlight those uh, notes in this tree just press ctrl C just move your cursor to the right hand side 
press Ctrl V and you have another node tree. So let's connect with merge two. So we have another one. So and let's go to transform node on the top. And one thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna move this pivot to other side like this and leave it here and now we're gonna play it through so now we can see so let's change the color as well and play it through again Yeah, looks different. So we can copy this again. So press Ctrl C, move your cursor on the right hand side. Press Ctrl V, connect this, <coughs> go to time speed, change this to, let's say, 30. And let's play it through. And one thing that we still need to do is correct color. And we can play through. So this effect is powerful. You can use different tools. So you can use also the ellipse, uh, polygon or other, other tools. So you saw the examples in our today's intro so if you have any question uh, just let me know down in comments below so now we can just play it through to see what we have done in today's tutorial so press ctrl f and let's play it through and see the result that we have today so i'm satisfied with it so hopefully you are too and that's it uh, see you next time. This transition really looks amazing. Most effects in Fusion are a bit more demanding than those in other pages. However, once you try it, it becomes a bit addictive. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. On the end, I need your support. So if you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Leave your feedback or comments down below. And for all who are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Last but not least, don't forget to check my other videos as well. Till next time, have a good one.